Well, welcome to Cloudland State Park in northern Georgia. Alan and I made a pit stop as we head a little bit further down south. We're here for two nights, the first of which was much more brisk than we had expected, and I think we're in for another one tonight. But for now, we're going to hike, explore, and tell you all about this place. Here we go. <laughs> January travel for us has been to the south for several years now, initially to simply escape some of the winter gray skies and cold in Ohio, but more recently, Jay has been attending an annual business conference that is held in Orlando. Northern Georgia makes for a pretty good midway stop, and Cloudland Canyon has been on our to-visit list for some time, so we made it happen. Sadly, it didn't seem like we escaped the cold as Jay mentioned. Our first night there dropped into the low 20s and with the wind advisory that was in place, it felt much colder. With a high only rising to the mid 40s, we opted to hit the hiking trails early to generate some heat and get warm over just hanging out at our campsite. Located where I-59 crosses the northwest corner of Georgia and with quick connections from I-24 and I-75, Cloudland Canyon State Park is a true gem for hiking and nature enthusiasts. The campground's location provided easy access to the network of hiking trails. We headed out on a connection trail from camp to the West Rim Trail before descending down to the foot of Cherokee Falls, a breathtaking cascade that set the tone for the day and was the first time Jay stopped to make a capture for the year. After a short climb back up from Cherokee Falls, the adventure continued as we made our way downriver and much further down in elevation to explore Hemlock Falls. Then we traversed the scenic Sittens Gulch Trail, immersing ourselves in the park's diverse landscape before making a loop at Case Trail to return to the Overlook Loop. Covering a distance of 7.7 .7 miles with just under 1,500 feet of elevation gain, this hike was a true test of endurance. What makes Cloudland Canyon unique is the challenging ascent, mostly via steps, offering a different kind of workout amidst the hills. Beyond the trails, Cloudland Canyon State Park unfolds as a vast playground for outdoor enthusiasts. With various stay options, including cabins, yurts, backpacking, and of course campgrounds, visitors can choose their ideal retreat. 
The park's size and diverse trail system cater to all levels of hikers, horse riders, and mountain bikers, from beginners to seasoned adventurers. Our only complaint is the odd check-in requirements of the park. Due to our after 5 p.m. arrival, we had to break camp to drive the nearly two miles to the visitor center to physically check in by 10 a.m. the following day. We wrapped up our hike with a nice warm bowl of soup. As the sun set, we couldn't help but reflect on the incredible day we had. The trails showcased the park's diverse landscapes and challenged us with its unique elevation changes via steps. Cloudland Canyon is more than just a destination, it's an immersive experience. We ended the night by not only relaxing by a campfire, but we cranked up our solo stove for a second heat source and to keep our hot chocolate warm. We stayed at the West Rim Campground, Site 25, offering a perfect blend of tranquility and convenience. We do recommend the site to anyone looking to visit, but honestly, all the sites looked pretty good. Well, there you go, Cloudland State Park, Cloudland Canyon area. Anyway, uh, we had an amazing visit, even though it was really brisk uh, mm -hmm. on our two nights, not exactly what we expected. Fantastic park, fantastic yeah. area, the campground, everything. Honestly, we can't recommend it enough, whether you're traveling through, like we already said, it's close to a lot of interstates and it's really easy to make this a stop off. So go ahead and do it and make your own journey and adventure here. Yes. We will see you soon. Yes. Maybe still in Georgia Maybe. with the weather coming in. We're actually, we're not so sure. we don't know. You'll find out <laughs> next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>